Welcome back to the winners area and uh, live television there's always something new we're doing two things today we're doing race one and race two interview all in one simple because it's the same trainer same jockey but different owners with me is Safiso and uh, he gets a thousand rand on behalf of Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle well done Safiso congratulations please convey our congratulations to Alfred as well who got a thousand rand from the sponsors in the first race from your stame stable well done thank you very much Kelvin We'll just bluff that those colours for now are the, are the blue and grey of, of the uh, Sandy and Eugene. Let's quickly touch on the first race, Grand El Lupo, a little bit of a hot horse but dug down deep to win today. Yeah, look, he just shows a bit of character coming out and uh, you know, I like these type of horses that they, they show their character, they show their true colours and um, yeah, look, I mean, Wendy said that she felt that we might have been just going a little bit too far with him and um, dropped him into the 12 and there's a good pace on and he really moved up uh, really smartly and I think he's a type of horse that just needed a bit of confidence because when he hit the front, he looked for the company. But I'm glad he got his head down. And, uh, you know, I don't think he'll stop there. I think he'll go on to win a couple of more races. And, um, yeah, well done to Sandy and Eugene, uh, loyal supporters of mine. And uh, just thank you very much for the opportunities that they've been giving me and entrusting me to ride their horses. And to Wendy, uh, you know, great job, first two. And uh, it's made, made my job a lot easier. Now let's move on and talk about these colours for Miss Notemba Mlonzi who owns this and bred it. She's got a racing manager here, John Fox, who we're so looking forward to talking to. We thought, uh, watching from the studio, you galloped them into the ground, took the race by the scruff of the neck. Didn't come out the half a length slow, but you recovered quickly and race over from a long way out. Well done, good ride. Thank you very much. Yeah, look, um, she's normally quite quick at the gates and as you say, she was a, a touch slow today, but look, it is very hot and I think these horses can feel it today. And, uh, but as you say, um, you know, when I got to the front and no one really wanted to come around me, I knew I was doing it at the pace that I wanted to and, you know, I just held it together for as long as possible and, you know, I thought this win was overdue for her. She's been knocking at the door and her last run was really encouraging. I think she's a little bit better from, you know, having a little bit of cover, but uh, the race worked out the way it did and I'm just glad we're in the winner's box again. Once again, well done to Wendy and to uh, her lovely owners. I um, just uh, really appreciate the opportunity they give me and, um, you know, I just fly in and, and, and ride these horses and they're always in tip-top condition. So full credit must go to Wendy and to everyone involved there. Before you go, next best, can you have another one today or one or two horses that the punters can follow? Yeah, look, I think my horse in the next race definitely has a, a massive chance. Um, you know, a horse like Rugger Bugger should have a, a, a very good chance. And, uh, yeah, I, you know, I thought my rides were really competitive today. So, you know, it would be lovely if I could be here again and, uh, you know, go home with a treble or, or four-time or whatever it might be. But uh, I'm just glad I'm enjoying this moment. And um, you know, last but not least, sorry, uh, Aventure, I forgot the cap somewhere. Uh, please forgive me for that. But uh, they're getting the airtime that they need. Thank you very much. Lovely. Congratulations, Carl. Cheers. Thank you. Gwendy Whitehead, we did warn you it would be a little longer. We're doing two and one, but we're doing it as quick as we can. Let's start with Grand Lupo. Sandy and Eugene, uh, thank God for technology because watching on cell phones and online and anyway, they've won and won a good race in the first race. Very, very nice race from the horse today. We dropped him in distance because he, he in the 1400 he's been bouncing and, and taking quite a tug and I said to Sandy and Eugene last time, look, I actually want him to be run off his feet because he's got such a quick turn of foot that he hits the front too quickly and then he ends up coming back on the field. So today it just worked out perfectly with him. Dropped him out, picked it up beautifully. Calvin rode a purling, a spurling race on the horse. Uh, well done to Lee Scrivanti. Uh, I spoke to him just now. Absolute uh, uh, awesome win from the chap. And uh, well done to Sandy and Eugene on their way down to Cape Town. And um, yeah, this chap, this, this filly here now, she, she won an absolute cracker, Sky Cafe. Well done, Notemba. Uh, she bred her, John Fox is here, her, her stud manager, to, to lead her in today. And hopefully we can do the next, the next one as well. Wendy, well done to you. You must be so proud with the way the stable's going. Keep up the good work and I look forward to talking to John, who's an old time mate of yours and mine. Absolutely. Thank <laughs> you so much. Come on, John. You got the last word. John Fox, and we spoke about you a moment ago. Been in racing your whole life, of course, your sister with the Ford Stud. Well done, John. Yeah, no, thank you. Yeah, uh, new adventure, big new adventure. Um, not really a new direction. I've been in the breeding game for a long time as well. Grew up in it. So, yeah, very happy with it and things are going well at the stud. Yeah, yeah, so all good, yeah. Miss Notemba Mlonzi, she's received awards at the Quasar Unit tell breeders award functions in the past and she's just a lady who loves the industry please send her our wishes and, and get her to the races one of these days yeah no we've got to get it down here yeah she is Johannesburg based um obviously the studs down here but uh, we'll get her down somehow somewhere along the way we'll get her here for sure John, mm. to you and your family all the very best and lovely having you at the races we, we so enjoy it yeah no good eh? we love it eh? thank Thanks, you very much John. <laughs> John Fox lovely lovely to have John at the races he's been around horses his whole life as has his sister Jill
Okay, Sky Cafe is one. You heard from the team, they've got good rides, they've got good runners. Maybe they can follow up and make it one, two, three for Wendy Whitehead.